Hi there, welcome to Simple Bookkeeping. This is Pamela, your bookkeeping spreadsheet guru, and I'm going to show you how to use your Simple Bookkeeping spreadsheet. So, having just opened up the spreadsheet in Excel, um, I'm using the full screen view. I find this is easier to work with the sheets. You'll come to the first sheet, which is your setup sheet. So, as the name suggests, basically, this is where you should start off with first to get set up. So, the first box that you should fill in is here and that's underneath company info so yeah that's it it's all your company information so in the first box you just want to type in your company name hit return that's you basically you can tab along to the relevant boxes or you can click onto them and fill in the details that you need now up here there's a VAT number box you might not be VAT registered if you're not then you can hit delete if there's something filled in it to blank it or you can type in your VAT registration number whatever that may be and just hit return and that's you same for the phone number, fax and of course your email so the next section on your setup page is labels your labels are what we refer to as your accounting activity. So to keep it simple, you'll see here we've got expenses and this is everything to do with money going out of your bank accounts to do with your business. So all your fees, rent, rates and such. Then you'll see income. Again, income's been separated. So that's, you know, sales, it could be bank interest, um, loans or dividends, money that you've got coming into your company you'll see payment section a payment and um, basically the method of payment of how you've paid your expenses or how you've received money and on the last column here we've got VAT so VAT that's been added to sales or you may add to sales going out so that's you've got the different rates here standard reduced exempt standard two I'll go over that in a minute so going back to expenses, your labels, these are the generic accounting terms that I've already entered for you to save you some time. As you'll see when I scroll down, there's quite a few there. Some of these or maybe most of these might not be relevant to you, like you might not have rent, you might not have, um, you know, if you've not got rent or rates, then that's fine. You don't need to use them. What you can do is, you know, you can select anyone that you want and you can basically delete it. Just hit the delete button or you can type in your own one. So say cleaning wasn't there and you wanted to put that in, so you can just type in cleaning and hit return. It's up to you. You can decide what types of expenses and how you want to call them. The most important thing is to keep them separate so you can recognise them later on. Same as income. So you'll see that I've given you five sales types. So it really depends on your business. Maybe it's consultancy fees or whatever. So you can put in, um, type in here consultancy instead of sales type 1, hit return and that's it saved. So again, payments, you probably won't need to change anything in payments, but it's the same thing again. Maybe you use a different method for payment. You can just click in whichever one you want to get rid of and type over it. So back to the VAT, here we've got standard, reduced and exempt, and you'll see the relevant rates in there. You can basically type over these. A quick hint for you is anything that has this border around it, like that and this colour background that's for you to type in that's information that you can type in or change so for standard 2 the reason that standard 2 exists is because sure everyone knows the fat rate is about to change so if you've bought this fat sheet no doubt it's going to change midway through your accounting year or your business year so I'll go through why this is relevant to keep these apart just now later on so just make sure that, you know, standard rate just now is 17.5 and the new rate in there is 20%. And that should be pretty much set up. So just, you know, go through, decide what expenses you have that are relevant to your business and what types of income. Once you've done that, hit save and that's you done for this section of the spreadsheet. Thanks for watching.